Prime Minister Modi did very clearly to a whole new story of growth and development. And life was very much part of it, but it's still a bigger picture of what sustainable, resilient and inclusive growth looks like. It gives you cities where you can move and breathe. It gives you ecosystems which are robust and fruitful. It uses energy and all other resources much more efficiently. I wanted to link it, as Prime Minister Modi did very clearly, to a whole new story of growth and development. If we see a new path full of opportunity, then we are much more likely to work together to make it happen. But we've got to have a picture of what that uh, looks like. I listened very carefully to Prime Minister Modi's speech in uh, Glasgow, COP26, in, in, uh, in November of, of 21. And what he set out, including life, and life was very much part of it, but it's still a bigger picture of what sustainable, resilient, and inclusive growth looks like. It gives you cities where you can move and breathe. It gives you ecosystems which are robust and fruitful. It uses energy and all other resources much more efficiently. Efficiency is productivity, is, uh, is growth and development. Cities where you move and breathe, of course, much more than output. I mean, if you, if you stop killing people from air pollution, that's very good for output. But actually, it's rather important to stop killing people from air pollution in a very direct way. That's part of what development means. So having that picture of um, a new way of uh, breaking from the dirty, destructive models of the past and building something much more attractive, I think that is absolutely fundamental to everybody working together. This is not a miserable story. It's not a cut here and a cut there. This is a story of doing things very differently and building a much better story of growth and development. I think India's out in front on that. The clarity and commitment of Prime Minister Modi is critical. It's absolutely embodied in the uh, G20 leadership as well. But this is the growth and development story of uh, this century. It involves change, it involves investment, it involves innovation, it involves indeed behavioral change. But all that comes if you have a very clear understanding of where you're going and why, and a clear understanding that it's actually rather an attractive path to follow, much better than the dirty, destructive models of the past.